Ireland was left deeply divided over the terms of the Anglo-Irish Treaty, and this resulted in the outbreak of the Irish Civil War. In April of 1922, irregulars, so anti-treaty forces, took over the four courts in Dublin. In June of 1922, um, election results showed that a majority of people in the Free State wanted to accept the Anglo-Irish Treaty. 92 pro-treaty TDs were elected, as opposed to 36 anti-treaty TDs. Collins then led the Free State Army, known as the Regulars, against the Irregulars. They borrowed artillery from Britain and they shelled the four courts. Within two days, 200 Irregulars inside had surrendered. Many Irregulars now retreated to the Munster Republic, which was a Republican stronghold. The 60,000 Free State soldiers, however, easily captured Waterford and Limerick. On the 12th of August 1922, Arthur Griffith died of a brain hemorrhage. On the 22nd of August 1922, Collins was assassinated at an ambush in Bale na Blaw in West Cork. W.T. Cosgrave and Kevin O'Higgins now became the new leaders of the Free State Government. The Irregulars now resorted to the use of guerrilla warfare. However, this was not as successful during the Civil War as it had been during the War of Independence. This is because most people in the Free State supported the Anglo-Irish Treaty and the Free State Army was just as familiar with the countryside as the Irregulars were. Liam Lynch, who was leader of the Irregulars, he was killed in April of 1923. Frank Aiken, who was the new Chief of Staff of the IRA, and de Valera eventually called a ceasefire in May of 1923. There were a number of important consequences of the Irish Civil War. Two of Ireland's largest political parties, Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael, grew out of pro- and anti-treaty sides. Cumann Gael, which later joined with a group called the Blue Shirts um, and then later became Fianna Gael, were pro-treaty um, and Fianna Fáil, who were set up by de Valera, they were anti-treaty. Important leaders like Michael Collins were lost. Around 1,500 people were killed and around 38 million euro worth of damage was done. The government also executed anti-treaty leaders and then anti-treaty forces assassinated government TDs.